Alright guys, we're back today uh, working on the quarter panel again. Uh, I've done a bunch of cutting to uh, get this trunk extension fitting right. Um, and I think it needs to be flat with this line here and five inches down. So I've got that fitted in. Um, finishing up the welds. And uh, I guess I've been procrastinating a little bit on this, but trying to get her done and we'll see how it goes okay I got this thing welded in uh, no pinholes a little bit of primer on there uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fabricate a piece to go here because this wasn't long enough and uh, that shouldn't be too hard okay what I got going on here uh, I cut all this rust off the bottom of this wheel well here. So this came out and actually mated to that uh, the wheel arch. Uh, so I have to fabricate a piece that will mate up with that wheel arch. Uh, what I've decided to do is I have this uh, quarter panel that was going to go on the other side of the car. And instead of using it there, I'm going to actually turn it around backwards. And so I'm going to make that so that it mates up with the uh, arch on my other panel. And then uh, welding that together I'm sure is going to be a bit of a chore. But yeah, that's how that's going to work. Alright, so last time I made a video I had talked about uh, I had made an investment in Theta. And it was worth $28,000. Um, so since that video, it's appreciated up to 51000 and uh, I ended up actually buying some more. So I have some on this trading account that's worth 4000 so like 55000 worth of data um, so far. And um, the more I watch this uh, money grow, I'm thinking... Well, maybe I should just go ahead and buy a restored 58 Plymouth. I found this one online. It's beautiful condition. It's a Fury 58. And uh, when I start adding up all the parts and the upholstery, the motor, everything that needs to be done, I mean, I don't, I almost think it might be just a better idea just to buy this one. And then paint it red if I wanted it red. I mean, it has a beautiful interior. Um, all, all redone interior. So they're asking 59000 for this thing. And so I'm not sure if I'm ready to cash out those cryptos. I mean, I think they're going to double at least, maybe... A lot more than that in the next few months so I'm kind of holding on hoping that uh, this guy doesn't sell this fury by the end of the year because uh, I really have my eye on it I think I might just buy it so that's what's going on with that and I'm gonna keep working on my other one and possibly sell my project after I get patched back together if I end up buying this one. So we'll see. See you in the next one.